construction deflections with steel beams, metal decking and concrete slabs. Those who work in the construction industry will often need to work to tight tolerances, both at design stage and during construction itself. It's important to consider the level of movement, known as deflection, of all the products and materials within a building. All materials that make up the construction of a building move and bend as load is applied. Deflection is defined as the degree to which a product, material or structural element is displaced under load. All elements of a building deflect, so it's important to consider the magnitude of this deflection. When working with steel construction using composite floor slabs with metal deck, each floor will be made up of a network of steel columns and beams, each element relying on support from another. A typical steel frame bay will comprise of supporting vertical columns with perimeter primary beams. A number of secondary intermediate beams will be positioned within each bay. For this scenario, we are basing the design on a double span bay with a single secondary beam. The steel floor deck spans across the beams for the concrete topping to follow. Pouring concrete on deck is different to ground floor slabs due to deflection and surface regularity achievable. The concrete applies the largest dead weight to the deck and beams, therefore including the most notable deflection to all the building frame elements. Primary beams span between the columns. Beams at connection to the columns remain fixed in the vertical axis. The primary beam will have some level of deflection, with the greatest measurement of deflection typically being around the centre point of the beam. We can call this deflection A. The secondary beams are connected to the primary beams. The contact point where the two beams connect will already be at deflection A point, a lower starting point from the fixed datum level. The level of deflection for the secondary beams varies depending on size and methods, such as pre-cambering. We will call this point the midpoint of the secondary beam, deflection B. The deck will then further deflect between the secondary beams. We'll call this deflection C. Therefore, the compound deflection of the primary beam, secondary beam and deck will be in the region of A plus B plus C, and this will give the lowest point of the deck or slab. It is possible to achieve tighter concrete levelness tolerances by considering a few options. Design beams to limit deflection and hence reduce additional weight of concrete required to achieve the surface level specification. Apply a screed to the structural slab to account for any deviations in level. Do not design the deck spans to the deck limits for the nominal slab depth in order to allow some residual capacity to pour thicker than the nominal depth. For more information and other tutorials, please visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.